Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Now, I'm going to talk about some basic things that I think we tend to forget sometimes. So let's come in here, and I'm going to open my properties box back up. So I've got my properties and sequence view. I'm going to go to my library and I'm going to pick a month. Let's see, there's November 2017. No, I don't want to pick that month. I'm going to go back here and I think I'm going to pick November 2016. There we go. Let's look at these designs. So I want to look at a couple of things we can do. I'm going to grab this design right here and drag it in. Now, I want to talk about stitch editing or editing a design in general. Now, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look at this. And what I want is I want to grab this Give Thanks. I just want this board. I don't need the pumpkins or anything. So we've got a couple of ways to affect this. Now, the first thing is, is I can come over to All Items here. And I'm going to grab my green well, no, I'm not. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to left mouse click on the little eye and I'm going to put my pumpkins to sleep. And then I'm going to put this leaf to sleep. And I'm going to put the stem to sleep. The band on the hat's going to sleep. The hat itself is going to go to sleep, the buckle. And you can see as I go through here, how I'm putting pieces to sleep. Now I want to keep this piece right here because I can see that's the spiral. So I'm going to keep my board. I'm going to put the rest of the outlines to sleep and I'm going to keep my give things. So now I have got this. Now if I come in here, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come down my left hand toolbar to the very bottom. Now you can see my last icon is toggle view backdrop. Well I know I've got more icons because I have a little arrow here. So I'm going to click on this ghost. Now ghost is a wonderful feature. So I want to show you what ghost is doing. It's showing me everything in relation to this. Now I'm going to notice a couple of things. If I turn this black back on, we're coming over here into the sequence view again, and I turn this back on, you notice I have a nice outline around here besides this black cord. So when I got rid of all my other black, it took away my outline. So see, being able to see this in perspective with the ghost feature, putting everything else that I have to sleep, it turns it gray. So I can't edit anything that's been turned gray, or I can't destroy it, more is a better word in my book. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in to this black, and I'm going to expand it by clicking on the plus. Now if I click on that plus and look at this, let's look at this. Well, I need to keep that. I'm keeping that. So you can see now I don't want this piece. So I'm going to hold my command. Do I want the next? I mean control, excuse me. I want this piece. I'm going to hold my control key. Do I want this piece? Yep. I don't want this piece. I don't want this piece. And as the ones I don't want, I'm going to claim them here. I'm, I'm seeing that these are going underneath, so I don't care about those. I only care about these that aren't going underneath. Now I can see this one is that edge, so I need it. I'm holding my control key this whole time. I don't, I don't want that one. Now I want this steel because there is my all-around piece. See, that's my all-around piece. Now I'm going to assume pretty much the rest of this is going to be what I'm getting rid of. So I'm just going to come down and go ahead and grab these all the way down. Now what I could have done is find where these start, pick the first one, held my shift key and go to the bottom and kick the, click the last one. But because of those couple of ones that were dealing with my run, 
Now I am actually going to delete these. Hold, holding my delete key, I'm going to click those off. Oh, now I've got a problem. What happened? Well, it was grouped, but fortunately it still got rid of all of these, even though it looked like everything was there. So now that I have this give thanks, I'm going to go ahead and select this give thanks. I'm going to right mouse click on it. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to open a new piece of paper and I am going to paste it. Now you're going to notice I've got a problem here because the stem belonged there before. So what am I going to do? Well I'm going to click on this. It's selecting everything so I'm going to right mouse click ungroup. So now that I've ungrouped this, I can select this and I'm going to go to my shape icon. So with that selected, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to right mouse click on it and I'm going to say I want to edit just the outlines. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to pull this up and over and I'm going to hit enter. So now what I have done is I have completed this. So now I've got a whole design that says give thanks that I can put into something else. Of course I could take out the wire that's holding it and put it on a stick. So you have a whole lot of options but I'm going to tell you one of my favorite options to work with is that ghost because when I use ghost I can see where everything is in relation to the rest of the design and whatever I have put to sleep stays out of my way and grays out but I can still see it in perspective. So I think the ghost feature is a wonderful feature. I hope it's one that you'll use and I hope that you enjoyed today's lesson with Floriani. Now one thing I do want to tell you when I save, when I close this design, my original I am not going to save changes because I actually, usually when you put stuff to sleep, it doesn't matter because when I right mouse click and show all, it wakes everything back up. <coughs> but because I actually deleted all this, I do not want to save this design. So when I close it and it says, save changes? No, don't want to save those changes. Now this one I am going to save and I'm going to file save as and I'm going to save it as my give thanks board or whatever name I want to give to that design. I will save it. Also I will drop down and I will save it to the machine of my choice. So remember you can save for any machine format and then I would save this design and I would be on my way. I have created a new design from an old design and why redigitize the wheel if you've already got a perfectly good wheel. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a great week.